Okay, I am at Clear Creek Metro Parks again. Today I am I am attempting to hike all the trails. And I'm checking my elevation gain, my mileage, and so forth. So I'm gonna be doing very little video. But I started up here. I don't know the name of this little picnic area. Started here, which I think is Cemetery Trail. Um, I'm assuming I'm right here right now. My plan is to do all this, go down here, and then, hope I'm picking this up on camera, go down around this, back up, and go around through this way, down along the river, and catch it back up here, and come back, go along, then start backtracking back to where I went, and back to the parking lot. That's my plan. And I may, when I get back, um, wander through these little ones here by the park, uh, or by the uh, parking lot. So that's my plan. All the way down around. And then back up. And that should hit every trail in here, pretty much. I mean, I ain't worried about little extensions, connections like that and stuff. So, very little video today. Um, just because I'm going to focus more on uh, my hike and so forth. But it's a nice day. I think it's only going to be like 77 compared to the last time when I was out here. It was uh, like 95. I'm not sure why that's there. A nice little bench. We should just go around. It doesn't say we can't. And this is the Chestnut Trail, which I just mentioned. Definitely a lot nicer out here today, being it's like about 20 degrees cooler, a lot lower humidity than what it was a few weeks ago when I was out here. I'm running three apps. Well, let's compare them and see which one gives me <clears throat> the most accurate elevation gain. I have all trails, but I don't know. Here in Tar Hollow, because we're in the hills, and I'm I, even starting, I was at the top of a hill, pretty close to the top of the hill. And I got all kinds of internet access, phone, websites and stuff. Well, I try to go on all trails, no internet connection. Um, if it's, you know, I don't know what the problem is. That's not the first time I've had problems with all trails. Okay. Now I'm going to have to figure out which way to go here. I'm going to look at my map, so I shall be returning. All right, I just wanted to make sure I went the right way. I, I figured to go that way since that's where the sign says Chestnut Trail. That's a road called Ott Road, so we don't want that. So we're going to go this way. We'll continue on the Chestnut Trail.
Uh, as I was saying earlier about the All Trails app, uh, I've even tried rebooting my phone several times and see if that helps, and it didn't help at all. So I like the All Trails map, uh, app, and it works good if I'm in flat area, but when I come down here into the hills, it's pretty much useless to me. So I'm going to look around and see if I can find other apps. It may work down here. Like I said, I have all other internet connection. Everything else works fine. It's just all trails. It will not connect. We're still on Chestnut Trail. Um, I'm not going to, since we're going to be on several trails, I'm not going to bother announcing where we're at on trails either. And here we are. I was beginning to wonder if I was the only one out here. I really wasn't finding anybody other than a couple people real close to the beginning of the trail or they had those smaller trails. And I finally ran across a girl hiking. She said she ran into a couple people so far too. It has some hills, nothing major. It has a lot of uh, level out trails, either top of hills or running along the side of a hill. You know, the question's always asked when you're climbing a hill and you see somebody coming down. You try to quiet your breathing down so they don't hear you breathing hard. <laughs> I hear that question asked a lot. These trail, these hills have made me breathe. I think I deny it. It's one of the reasons I'm out here is on these hills is try to get better shape and climb them. I got my walking sticks. They help me a little bit.
I wish all trails would work because now I can look up and see exactly where I'm at on this trail. So I can get an idea how far it's further to before we branch off onto another trail. Okay, we are now, we just come off of that over there, Chestnut Trail, 2.2 miles. This, this one, and this one is a loop trail, which will take you back down to the road, parking lot, is a fern trail. This here, it's not actually shown as a trail on the map, so, service area, okay. So, we're going to go that way, and then loop around and come back up. Let me show you here on the map. Okay, we are right here. I'm hoping I'm picking this up because all I'm seeing is my reflection in the camera. We are going to go this way. And we're going to go down onto the fern trail. And then when we get down here at the bottom, we're not going to go out to the parking lot. We're going to come back up the other side and then catch this and go this way on down. And then down to the road and then there's a trail going along the creek. Back up, as I said, and then back back through. So, all that that we just did, we're going to do again. When we get back to this point and go back. <laughs> Which is fun. So, that one hill I came down, so it was a nice gradual drop. We're now going to climb it back up. So, here we are, and we're going to head down and around. And then back on through this way. So, we are going to go that way. Also, since we are now going on to the Fern Trail... I'm not going to record any parts of this because I already have a video. Uh, it will be uploaded soon. I just got to get it uploaded. Of the Fern Trail. So if you want to see any of the Fern Trail, search for that video, the Fern Trail. So because of that, I'm not going to record anything on this trail. Unless I see something crazy that I didn't see last time. Okay, actually, where we were just at, well, it wasn't starting of the Fern Trail. It's a connector between the Fern Trail and Chestnut Trail, it's her cemetery ridge, which goes that way. So now we are actually here. When I was talking before, we were right here. Now we are here. Now we're on the Fern Trail. This here is what we walked, this is where we were at before. This really is just a connector, I guess, or whatever it's called, cemetery ridge trail. Um, so now we're starting on the Fern Trail and go down and then back up and then go this way. So, we're gonna go that way. And if you would have started on the Fern Trail, it's down there. And then the Hemlock Trail, I think that's the one we're gonna hit eventually. That's in, says 0.3 miles. But we are gonna have to go this way and then come back up. Okay, we are come back up on the return trip on the Fern Trail. I actually ran into somebody out here on the trail that I knew from years ago when I hiked with the Sierra Club. I was surprised to see him out here. But now we're going to go on to the Hemlock Trail. Alright. Now we come, remember we were right here and we come down and we did all this and I turned around when we got down here. I didn't make a video from here. Uh, but when you get down here, then you turn around and come back up. And this is where we're at. Make sure you don't go all the way to the top. Watch for this spot here. And now we're going to go off here. This is gonna take, and this is going to take us all the way back to the drop, to the road, to the creek. So we're going to follow all this. And then we're going to follow along the creek for a little while. And then back up. Through here. And on back to the car. So... And we go this way.
to the Hemlock Trail. I'm actually starting to run into more people out here now. Which is good. A lot of cars in the parking lot. I was sort of curious of where everybody's at. I didn't see that many picnics going on down there. This is a Labor Day weekend. A lot of people out. That's a ways down. I do have a cord in my car to charge my phone. Um, but another reason I don't want to do a lot of video is because, like I said, I'm running three apps. Check my altitude and how much I climb and stuff. I don't want to drain my battery.
definitely beautiful back in here. Ah, I thought this was sort of interesting. This tree here, how it's growing into, into this little rock crevice. See, I mean, it's like the tree is sandwiched between two rocks. Of course, the tree is dead, but at one time it had to have been living or to grow. I just climbed a hill on the Hemlock Trail. That was a nice little hill. A lot of roots, which provides steps. But it's still a nice little climb. You got me breathing a little hard. Not gonna lie. I am curious of what that hill alone was. got to the top there was a doe standing there watching me I said, look at this guy <clears throat> I don't like wearing bug spray I usually don't Bugs aren't bad out here, but every now and then I get I don't want to be flying around my head. It's annoying.
I actually ran into a guy who's hiking. He usually comes down here every weekend and hikes. Good exercise for him, he says. Um, well, yeah, I've noticed about a lot of the hikers on this trail at this park. A lot of them are pretty friendly. And they are, uh, they'll chat with you. I don't know how many people I've chatted with on this trail. I'm talking about more than just uh, saying hi and passing. Come on, actually, you know, stopping and chatting with them. Some really friendly people out here, which is cool. He was telling me that this trail, I hike in this park, is actually a little bit more harder than hiking the trails at Hawking Hills. I don't know. But, uh, it's pretty cool. It's kind of people like that. He's just a little ways up ahead of me. I let him pass me since he was going a little quicker than I was. You can see him down there at the bottom of the hill. Okay, now we're down here in the bottom of the ravine. We were just up there. Well, I thought that was pretty cool right here. Um, one day, I'm going to have to go over there. I wonder how if that goes in very far. See it right over there? I'm curious how far in that goes. One day, I'm going to have to check that out. Not today, because today my goal is, is to hike the trail system here. I want to stay focused on one goal at a time. But another day when I come down here just for a casual walk, I'll have to go over there and check it out. It's not like it'd be that hard to get to. It's pretty cool here. Um... I don't know if we're going to stay down here in the ravine the rest of the way back and come back out to the road if down here or if we're going to climb again, I don't know. we got to be getting close to coming back out onto the road and then walking the trail along the creek before we enter back in. The guy I was talking to earlier Remember earlier when I said I climbed that one hill, that just most recent hill, and it was a nice little climb? He said that hill, and then when we go back in on, I want to say Cemetery Trail, but I'm, don't quote me on that. He said there's a hill right there when you first go back in. He said those are the two toughest hills. Nature's Chairs. I have to watch my battery power too. Like I say I got a cord in my car to plug it in, but that's not going to be, do me any good now. When I get back to the car, I'm done. <laughs> so I need to try to conserve my battery life while I'm out here. What I've noticed when you're along the edge of a uh, end of a trail in your parking lot, you run into people. But when you start getting further out into the depths of the trail, you don't run into that many people. 
I think the ones you do run into out there are the serious hikers, are the ones that actually want to hike, want to work a little bit. Just my opinion, I ain't saying there's any truth to it. I don't hear any traffic yet, so. Okay, here we are back out to the road. So now we're gonna go along a Creekside Trail or whatever it's called. Okay, so we were just coming off the Hemlock Trail, which is one and a half. Steep, rugged terrain, unimproved trail. Approximately 48 minutes. All right. I believe this is called Creekside Trail, I think. It'll take us along the creek for a little bit. Then we'll cross back over the road again and go back into the main woods. And I'm told there's a hill right there. And that is also a nice looking, nice size hill. Okay, we got a board up here. Let's look and see what this says. Alrighty, we are right here. This is what we just did. This is where we come off. So we're gonna travel along here. And then we're gonna go back up here. See, right now we're on Creekside. I don't know what this one here is called. Uh, Cemetery Ridge Trail, I believe. And Cemetery Ridge Barn, yeah. So we're here, we're gonna walk along this and then go back into the woods. And we got all this to get back to the car. Got my sticks here and be on our way. Now you know this part down here is gonna be pretty flat. I'll bring us back on when we cross the road again. Unless I see something interesting. We are ready to go back into the woods. Two and a half, Cemetery Ridge. Um, unimproved trail. Two and a half miles. And like I said, we're going to start right off on a hill. Um, the guy I spoke with said the one on the hemlock, and this one are the two toughest ones. So, I'm going to use my sticks and turn those off, <laughs> as I'm focusing on the hill. See you at the top. Alright, I made it to the top of the hill. I don't know what this is. This tra trail side enclosure is here to protect a yellow lady slipper from being grazed by deer. This beautiful native orchid is rare in our area. We want to make sure this one continues to thrive for park visitors to enjoy. You can usually see this plant and bloom from early to mid-May. I guess we're a little late. Alright. Now, I'll compare that hill to any other hills, but so far I think the worst hill I've climbed is the one on the Hemlock Trail. This one here I don't know. They're both pretty close. This one has some switchbacks, which made it a little easier, but it had some steep climbs to it. Neither of them were like tough or difficult. They were just some good gradual climbs. 
But those are probably the two toughest hills that I have tackled so far on all the hills in here at uh, Clear Creek. Now, like I say, I'm not saying they're difficult. I'm just saying they are the two toughest ones of the hills here at Clear Creek. Now, one of the guys I said, where I was talking to, he said, when I get to the top of this hill, it's going to be about two mile uh, plateau height. Which we're going to be here at the top for a little while before we do any more hills. I said something about we'll come out into a meadow eventually. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But again, I'm keeping an eye on my battery life on this. My concern is I may not do the trail all the way back to the parking lot. I may have to get onto the road. I don't know because I'm running low on water. I bought three bottles with me. Thinking that would be sufficient. But it's not. I'm down to about one bottle now. And I still got a little ways to go. We are heading back. That is a good thing, but it's uh, still a little bit of a distance back. So I'll evaluate my situation when we meet the Fern Trail. Do I want to keep going, or do I want to go down to the Fern Trail and back to the road and just walk the road back? Okay, we are at this spot here. I remember seeing this from the road down below. I don't think we're going to get close enough where we can see the road. But I do remember this. Um, it just continues. It's not, it's not an intersection of trails or anything. It's just sort of showing where you're at. This is the hill, and you can see the switchbacks that we climbed up. We're here, and this is that open area right there we are going to continue along and when we get to this spot like I say for the fern trail I'm going to decide when I get here whether I want to continue back or I want to cut down back to the road and then just take the road back I mean the road's going to be just as long so but I'm not Pushing myself on hills where I'm going to need more water if I go to the road. So we'll decide. So let's get moving and see what happens. Chestnut Ridge Barn, I think it is. I wonder if there's some bats up there. Do you hear the wind blowing through it? Is the camera picking it up? Wish I had a flashlight. I'd go inside here. Roof's pretty high. This is cool.
I almost missed it. Because it's behind these few trees right here. And the trail's out there. I almost missed it. I asked a ranger earlier what's up with this barn. He says that they're not sure, but he thinks it might have been back from the day when there was farming up here on this on this hill. You know, these metro parks haven't been here forever. These this land does have a history. Let's see what this sign down here says about it. Changing face of the land. I'm not going to read all that, but you can go ahead and pause it and read it. Okay, we're still up here on this ridge. We passed the barn already. We haven't got to the crossroads yet for the fern trail. Like I said, I think I tried, you know, I'd make my mind when we got there. Well, I'm gonna head back down and walk the road. Or... I said, two concerns water. And uh, how much daylight's left. But I think I'm probably going to end up just staying on the trail. We should be hitting that. Um, merge point here pretty soon at the Fern Trail. Again, that's why I wish the all trails app would work so I can look at it and see where I'm at on the trail. So since we climbed that hill, it's been pretty even, pretty flat. I don't want to say flat, but and we've had some minor declines and inclines, nothing major. I think that's why it's called the ridge, because we're walking along the ridge of the, of the hill. This is a lot easier to walk than the other part, other trails though too. I mean, this looks like not only is a trail, but it's also probably a service road. So you can actually walk at a little faster pace because it's smoother. You're not walking on rocks roots and all that kind of stuff. 
Here comes somebody, so I'm gonna turn this off. I just ran into a guy, had a stroller, three little kids. So if he's out here at the stroller and three little kids, I'm gonna assume that this is the rest of the way back. It's pretty safe and smooth. Nothing rough. Okay, we passed the point for the fern trail. I actually saw a girl out here running and I asked her to make sure I was going the right way. And I think I do remember us coming through this trail when we were coming in. So now we are backtracking. We are now on the trail that we came in on. And this will take us back to the parking lot. Um, I didn't see a sense of going back down the fern trail to the road and walking. That, that would have been a lot longer of a walk. And my point is I'm low on water. So I think this would be a better one. And uh, I don't remember coming in on this. There was any large uh, crazy climbs. So I think this would be fine. Whether I want to do any of those little, little trails there back by the parking lot, I don't know. I'm probably just going to head for home. My goal was to walk the complete main trail through the park. And when I get back to the parking lot, I will have accomplished that. I did what I set out to do. Those little loop trails back, back by the parking lot would have been just a little additive, but it wasn't part of my plan. So I'm gonna go back to the parking lot. She was telling me that other trail back there. I could have went that way too and a little loop around. But I decided to go this way since this is the way we came in. This is the way I'm familiar with. Well, somewhat familiar with. I know earlier, um, I think when I was on the Hemlock Trail, I stopped when I was talking to one guy. I looked at my app, and at that point, I had about 5.24 miles in and roughly around 950 feet elevation climb at that point. So I'm thinking when I'm done, I should have at least 15, 1600 feet when I'm done. We'll see. I'm going down right now, so that tells me I'm gonna come back up. Because remember, well, I'm parked at the top of a hill. I'm not down in, I'm at the top. So if I'm going down, I'm gonna have to go back up. It's just the way it is. Wonder if she ran up this hill. She looked pretty fit. She looked like she wasn't a new newbie on trail running. I like trail running, but I'll be honest, there ain't no way I would have ran up this whole hill right here.
I was to guess, I'd say on an average, these hills are probably about 300 feet. I couldn't tell you how many hills I climbed. Maybe six. I just climbed, I think, the last hill on Chestnut Ridge. It's going to take me back out to the main trail, take me back to the parking lot. That was a good climb. Uh, so I'd say there's, out of all the climbs, there's probably three good ones. One on the Hemlock, one on, I think, Cemetery Ridge there as you exit the road. We go right onto the trail. That's a good climb. And then the very last climb on Chestnut Hill or Chestnut Ridge or whatever it is. Um, as I'm heading back towards the uh, parking lot. That's a good climb. Those are probably the three toughest ones out of all the climbs here at this park. I don't think I have any more climbs. Could be wrong. I see. I mean, I see you. <laughs> well, this doesn't look like it's going down in there, though. Got less than 50% of battery life left. But... I'm pretty sure I'm almost back to the parking lot. I thought I heard something.
Okay, we are back to this is the trail of truth or back to parking lot. Remember this? I said that was Ort Road or something like that. And we took off there. So we are basically heading back to the parking lot now. Which is where we come in at. And if I would have went down to the road at the fern trail, I'd still be walking good distance. So I'm glad I decided to stay on the trail.